The earliest documented forms of diapers were made out of milkweed leaf wraps, moss, animal skins and any other creative natural resources. In European societies, babies were wrapped in swaddling bands, which were strips of linen or wool that were wrapped tightly around each limb and then crosswise around the body. Eskimo people placed moss under seal skin, and in tropical climates, babies wore nothing at all. Did you know that during the Elizabethan era, diapers evolved into squares of cloth, held on with string tied around the baby's stomach? However, diapers were only changed every four days. Royal babies were more fortunate and changed once a day. In the early 1800s, diapers were a rectangular piece of linen, cotton flannel or stock in it that was folded and tucked. The safety pin was invented in the mid-1800s, which was then used by those who could afford the pins to hold the rectangular square in place. In 1949, Marion Donovan invented the boater. After having her second child, she was fed up with not only changing wet diapers, but wet linen because the cloth diapers leaked. Marion decided to wrap a shower curtain around her children's diapers to ensure that they did not leak. Marion approached multiple male-run companies to sell her product to the public. Their responses were that women did not ask for anything other than cloth diapers and therefore they were happy with them and did not need an alternative product. Marion argued that because men did not change diapers, they did not understand the need for an alternative product. Because the manufacturing industry was run by men, Marion could not get any company to manufacture her products, so she decided to manufacture it herself. Saks Fifth Avenue agreed to sell the product, and as you can imagine, they quickly sold out. The thin plastic allowed the diaper to breathe and prevented diaper rash. Marion called it the boater. She sewed nylon material into a boat shape, which could then be stuffed with absorbent paper. Marion realized that using a paper liner could result in a fully disposable diaper. But again, no manufacturing company would assist her. To this day, Marion is known as the inventor of the first disposable diaper. Fast forward 67 years and there have been many technological advancements in the disposable diaper industry. Disposable diapers now have a much better fit. They have elastic waistbands and leg openings. They use polymers for extra absorbency. They have leakage control such as waist barriers, shields and guards. There are additional versions such as pull-ups, nighttime nappies or swimming diapers. They are much more hygienic, they are more comfortable and made from a cloth-like material which is more breathable. They are easy to use with resealable tape and velcro. They are smaller and thinner and they come in a variety of shapes and sizes based on children's age and gender. But all of this technology has had a negative impact on the environment. Around the world, over 350,000 babies are born each day. It is estimated that each baby will use about 8,000 disposable diapers from birth to potty training age. During the manufacturing process of disposable diapers, a large amount of energy is wasted and pollution is created. When compared to the manufacturing process of cloth diapers, we see that disposable diapers use two times more water, three times more energy, and 20 times more raw materials. Plus one cup of oil goes into making each diaper and 250,000 trees are cut down in the process. Over two billion diapers go into landfill sites each year in Australia alone. They take 500 years to decompose. While these diapers decompose, they release greenhouse gases, methane and a mix of other hazardous chemicals. Another concern is that the faeces from the diapers contain viruses and bacteria that leak into our local water supply. But there is hope. 
A company called Relivid aims to recycle disposable diapers and reduce landfill waste by up to 95%. There are also multiple companies that make cloth diapers using a combination of Marion Donovan's original boater design with the modern technology of disposable diapers. These diapers have a soft, waterproof outer layer. They have pockets inside the diaper which you place inserts into. These inserts can be cloth, other materials or a disposable liner. Thus, the amount of wastage is minimal. Currently, 95% of people use disposable diapers. Therefore, I hope that as people begin to understand the environmental impact of disposable diapers, they will choose to use cloth diapers. However, with the busy lifestyle of people these days, diapers need to be convenient. My hope for the future of diapers is that we are able to find a more effective way of recycling disposable diapers and reducing the amount of diapers that end up in landfill sites. Or we may have to look to the past to assist us with the future of diapers. Maybe Marion Donovan's original design is the future of diapering.